So my last video there got cut short because I ran out of battery. But it's all back together. There's no leak in the water pump. There's no leak in the thermostat housing. Uh, she's coming up the temperature and my water temperature meter or gauge is actually starting to work. It comes right up there to 12 o'clock. I had it running. There's a bit of a miss in it. The coil gets hot and it literally turns the engine off um, after about 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to have a look at this bonnet. There's a few little scratches here and all. I've just given them a rub of sandpaper. I'm just going to touch them up. There's a dent there. I'm going to try and tap him out with my uh, hammers and the dolly there in the front. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not trying to restore this bonnet yet. I'm just trying to preserve it. So it's all original, all original badges as well. They're meant to be, have gold in behind the, in around the letters. So that's what I'm going to tip at here now. Anywhere and there and stuff. I want to just clean it up with a sandpaper, maybe in a pick, a metal pick, and just even put down some clear varnish in it just to stop any more rust. Mind you, it's not very bad at all. It's only surface rust. So that dent is sort of tapping out very nice with um, this hammer and dolly. It's only a scratch really now. So looks a lot better. Very, very slight dent, not too fussed. So the plan is now just to give everything a good clean in here. It's not too bad, a bit of surface rust, a bit of dust after, a bit of dusty rust after coming out of it there. So I'm gonna blow out all of that and uh, I'm gonna have a think about what I'm gonna do in behind it, maybe a spray of diesel and oil or something just to, to preserve it. It's actually really good condition, just slight little bits of surface rust. The rest of it's so, so dry and so so clean as far as rust goes all of these wing nuts and everything are all factory fitted so a little quick clean and maybe uh i don't want to spray too much oil based stuff on it because i will probably sand it down and paint it at some point but that's something that does need a little bit of attention just for to preserve it so what I did was I turned the bonnet upside down and anywhere there was joins between panels I sanded and I wire brushed them down and with a bit of surface rust here and there but in general it's very structurally strong. The dent on the front, on the bottom of the grill there is only a scratch now and I have one on the side there that I'm slowly tapping out, taking my time and I went over it then with an oily rag and a bit of paint and anywhere that like this was the colour of pure rust because I had sanded it back, a little scratch. So I'm just trying to rub in a bit of paint and a bit of oil mixed nearly into the areas where there was a bit of uh, rust. It's just to preserve, that's all I'm interested in doing. It will get sanded down properly. It's just the winters here can be a bit damp. So I'm happy now that um, that should withstand a bit of moisture. In general, it's completely original. Couldn't believe the condition of everything underneath it. All the nuts, bolts, everything are in place. No signs of welding or repair. So just a small little job, but one that's gonna make a difference hopefully in the long term. <laughs> 